What is up, everybody? My name is Craig Kurloff. You may know me from Bigger Pockets or perhaps on Instagram. I'm at the Fi Guy. Well, guess what? Now we are starting to make some videos. So, in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about myself and how I went from a net worth of negative $60,000 to a millionaire in just four years using real estate investing. Guys, I am just an average person doing average things and with a little bit of motivation. So if you've got the same type of motivation, then you can absolutely do this too. All right, so let's get started, right? Year one, the first part of building wealth is saving. You have to start saving. The biggest three things, the ways to save, right, is your housing is, like your, is likely your largest expense, transportation, and food. That's the average American's three largest expenses. And so in year one, what did I do? You can probably guess. I house hacked. If you don't know what house hacking is, Google it. You'll see that, you know, there's been books written on it, wink, wink, and, you know, tons of podcast material, tons of blog posts. But the idea is, is that you buy a property for a low percentage down, say three to 5% down. If you're in the military, you get it for 0% down. You live in one unit or one room, rent out the other units or rooms, and you get to live for free, thereby eliminating your largest expense, right? So year one is house hack. That's the first step. Once you do that, you've eliminated your rent expense and likely you're saving $1,000 plus a month, right? The second thing I did in year one was transportation, right? So the, per the property that I purchased was just a mile and a half away from work. So I would bike to work and if it was snowing, I would walk to work. I would never, ever, ever take my car to work. In fact, I wouldn't even take my car to the grocery store. The only time I would ever take my car Actually, it was next to never. I, honestly, I would rent my car out most days of the year and I would just have friends drive or and pay them gas money, right? I wouldn't be cheap about it. Uh, or I would just take Ubers if I needed to get somewhere. But very rarely did I need to go anywhere, again, because I was really like, focused on this. Uh, and so uh, I would, did what was called Turo. So I Turoed my car. Um, that's basically the same exact thing as Airbnb but instead of renting out your house, you're renting out your car. So someone comes and takes your car, pays you for it. Amazing service if you're looking for some passive income. Uh, third thing was food, right? You can't cut your food down to zero. You have to live, you have to live, and in order to live, you need to eat. But you can choose where you get your food from, right? So I would always go to kind of discount healthy grocery stores in my neck of the woods in Denver. Sprouts and Trader Joe's are very good and very and, and pretty cheap. I would spend about 30 to 40 bucks a week on groceries, right? I did intermittent fasting, so I did not eat breakfast, really just lunch and dinner. And I even went as far as becoming a, a vegan for a few, uh, for like six months out of that, saving on meat. And then really, you know, I, I did want to try it for health benefits, not necessarily just money, but either way, uh, still saving tons of money there. So in year one, right, I had bought that house hack. That house hack was making me $1,000 per month. And that includes the money I would have made as if I, would have, if, if I, would have, if I were to rent it. Um, Turo was making me an extra $700 a month. On top of the additional let's say $2,000 a month I was saving just from my job. I was making, I mean, I'll tell you, I was making $65,000 a year uh, at Bigger Pockets. And so let's say I was making $2,000 a month from my job. And so what I was saving, right, is $2,800 a month. Let's see, $2,800 per month. What is that a month? Um, $33,600 over the course of one year, right? So there you have it, right? $33,600 over the course of year number one. Years, 365 days later from buying house hack number one, I went ahead and bought house hack number two. House hack number two. This one, a little bit different. Uh, single family house, lived in a bedroom, rented out the other rooms. This one actually made me a little bit more than $1,000 per month, believe it or not. It actually made me $1,400 per month. And it kept house hack number one, right? So we've got house hack one, making me the same $1,000 per month. Now I did stop doing Toro, and this is why, is because I started to become a real estate agent. And 
being a real estate agent, helping other people house hack, I did need my car, right? So this went away. However, you know, I'm still saving. At this point, I was still working my job. So my job, and I did actually get a raise because, you know, most times if you do a decent job at your job, you will get a raise. And so now I was saving about $2,500 per month. So here we have it, right? It's 1,400, 1,000, 2,400 plus 2,500. What is that? That's uh, $4,900 a month now, right? I'm saving. And you can see how this kind of gets bigger and bigger as you go, right? 4,900 a month times 12 months is about $58,800 per year that I was saving, right? And again, this is enough for another down payment for another house hack. And you can see how this number gets bigger and bigger. Right, so then, right, year number three, right? We've got house hack number three. As I do more house hacks, I get smarter, right? The more you do something, the more experience you get, you get smarter. So like the first time you drove a car, you're probably super nervous, you're driving down the road, you know, you're, you're kind of going like this if you're driving a stick shift, whatever it is. However, same thing happens here, right? As you start doing more deals, you're gonna get smarter. And so on this house hack number three, I'm actually making $1,700 a month. You know, house hack number two, still making me 14. House hack number one is still making me a thousand. And again, I, I have not quite left my job yet, right? And at this point, actually, my real estate agent business is getting so busy that I'm actually not doing that good of a job. So I did not get a raise in year three because my side hustles were taking over my real estate business. And so I'm still saving the same 2,500 from my job. And now, I've got this thing called a side hustle, right? I've got real estate agent income. When I was working full time, I was making, I was doing about two deals a month. Now, two deals a month in this market, Denver, Colorado, is about an additional 20 grand a month, right? And that's pretty nice, right? Obviously, <laughs> I think anyone would probably take that. 20 grand a month from real estate. This is side hustle, right? And this is what you get, right? This is what you get for putting in a couple years of hard work, right? You do things consistently. Not only was I doing this, but I was also writing for the blog. I was kind of building a brand for myself. And you can do it too, guys. There's so many people. Look up podcasts. Look up how many books have been written. Look at all the different blogs out there, man. There's anything you can do. Like, you can do this. And so, right? So because of all that, because of all the work I've put in, I've, I've been able to attract clients to my real estate business. And that was making me $20,000 a month plus all of this income that I was getting. So on a monthly basis here, I'm literally making, because of this new side hustle that I worked for, right? I'm making $26,600 a month, right? Times that by 12, and you're making, I'm making close to $320,000 on an annual basis. Do you understand now how you can kind of become a millionaire in four years if you work on it? And guys, it's just rinse and repeat, right? So you can guess what I did in, in year number four, right? House hack number four. So that's it guys, right? I mean, after year three, and you can just, you can guess what I just did in year four, right? I just rinsed and repeat. I did another house hack, right? I actually quit my job. Yeah, so this job here, this, this $2,500 a month, no more. You know why? Because in my side hustle, being a real estate agent, I was making 20 grand per month, literally almost 10 times as much, right? If I quit my job, I need to do one extra deal a month to make up for the entire year's salary and then some. And so it was an obvious choice that I thought that I, if I was doing two deals a month while being there, imagine if I got my 40 hours back and could actually start working on it. And so ever since I quit Bigger Pockets, uh, and by quit I mean in nice ways, I always say I graduated from Bigger Pockets, right? This 20 grand a month, I've had months, my, my best month was $185,000 a month, right? $100,000 a month. $80,000 a month. So this is like big, big stuff if you guys just have, if you put in the work, if you're brave enough to go off on your own, listen to people who have done it before you, and guys, just get out there and crush it. So what's the point of this video, guys, right? The point of this video was to one, I wanted to introduce myself on this YouTube channel. Two, I wanted to illustrate that I started out one year ago as absolutely nobody. I had 
Again, I was $90,000 in student loan debt, just working a W-2 job. I was just like any typical 23, 24 year old guy. And then I just saw an opportunity and I just continued to to do it, right? I, I continued to write blog posts for bigger pockets. That translated into writing a book. That translated into building a whole credibility that enabled my real estate agent business. I didn't plan this out, guys. I didn't I had no idea I'd be a realtor two years ago. If you told me that I would be a full-time realtor, I would have laughed in your face, right? And now I'm one of the highest producing agents in Colorado. So I would recommend, right, do the work now. Don't worry about the outcome. It will pay off in dividends. So in obviously, right, I'm, I went very aggressive, right? So millionaire in four years, negative $30,000 net worth, $90,000 in debt to a million dollar net worth in four years. I'm sure it is not a viable feat for a lot of people, especially because I recognize that I was a single, a single dude that was very young. But if you just follow a similar strategy, if you don't do anything except house hack, just house hack for the next five years, man, you'll get there. You will become a millionaire in five to seven years if you house hack every year on the year. And that's a pretty easy thing to do. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please you know, subscribe to the channel, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, leave what you thought in the comments. And again, feel free to reach out with any questions or concerns. I'm happy to answer. Again, I'm an open book. I literally just opened up my finances to all you guys. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions.